Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about an anti-aging device that I've been trying out. So this is the Nuova Luce anti-aging device with microcurrent and light therapy technology. So this was sent to me, this video is not sponsored, I'm not being paid to talk about it, but this was sent to me to try out. And I love to test out stuff like this for you guys because it gives me a chance to give you sort of an honest review on what I think of something like this before you go out and spend your own money. I'll have the brand website listed down below as well as their Instagram page. Um, you can also find other reviews of the same product on YouTube if you'd like to see more about this. Um, this brand is based out of California. They're from San Diego, California. They've been featured in Forbes magazine, um, Entrepreneur Magazine and The Today Show. So when they reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to give this a try and potentially make a video about it, I was instantly intrigued. I've never tried an anti-aging device like this, but I have seen fairly recently these types of devices gaining popularity, especially across social media. So I thought it would be great to give it a try, see what I think, and kind of relay that back to you guys. So before I get into showing you the actual device, I'm gonna give you a little bit of information on how a product like this works. So the microcurrent technology is supposed to promote collagen production within the skin. It's supposed to firm and tone those facial muscles. It's gonna to help to reduce puffiness and improve sort of the overall contours of the face. It's also supposed to help to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So I've been trying this out for about 30 days. So I'm gonna put some photos on the screen of sort of a before and after. I have only been using the device for 30 days, so you'll have to let me know in the comments down below if you think that you see a difference. I feel like I do. Anytime you're using a product like this on the skin, it's gonna be a subtle difference over time, right? Um, so I am excited to continue to use it. I will definitely be updating you guys in a future speed reviews video when I've been using this for even longer. But after the 30 days, I do feel like I see a little bit of tightening, particularly in this region of my face. And I have noticed a reduction of sort of those lines along my mouth. Those are some kind of problem areas for me personally. So I do think I am seeing somewhat of a difference. So it comes in a box like this. It does have two attachments. So it comes just like this in the box, really nicely packaged. Um, I have been storing mine in the box because I think that just takes up less space and I can keep all the pieces together and all of the things. It does have like a charge port, so you do plug it in to charge it, which is really nice. There's no like extra cords or anything while you're using it. I love to do stuff like this when I'm taking a little bit of me time. So sometimes when I'm in the bath or before I'm gonna do a mask or something like that, that's when I'm gonna use a product like this. They do recommend that you use it a couple of times a week. So this is the device here. So this is the microcurrent um, head on it. There is another attachment I'll talk about in a minute, but this is the one that's gonna give you sort of that lifting and contouring of the skin, tightening up those facial muscles. Um, so you would use this on clean skin. They did also send me a couple of their conductor gels. So there's the silver conductive gel and there's the original. I believe the silver, yeah, the silver is for more sensitive skin. So I have tried them both. I didn't really notice too much of a difference between one and the other. Once I tried them both, I did kind of wind up using the silver one just because that's the one I picked. Really didn't see too much of a difference between one versus the other. I don't have terribly sensitive skin, um, but what you would do is cleanse your skin let it dry completely, and then you would apply some of this conductive gel. Um, and I recommend doing that section by section because it is going to sort of dry down a little bit. So let's say I'm doing this cheek, I'll apply the gel to that cheek, use the device over there for the appropriate amount of time, and then apply some gel to the other cheek, use the device over there for an appropriate amount of time, then move to the forehead, and then I sort of do the chin and the jaw area. And the gel is just gonna give better conductivity of that microcurrent energy. So it turns on just like this. So there's different levels of strength. Um, I have been using it on a three, and I think now that I've been using it for the 30 days, I will start turning it up a little bit and see how that feels. In general, I don't feel too, too much going on in the skin. I feel a little bit of a tingling sensation, especially around my eye area when I'm using this, but nothing that's uncomfortable, nothing that's really gonna make you 
not want to use it or anything like that. It's very sort of relaxing to use. Um, so I have makeup on, so I don't really want to. So I'm going to insert some footage here of me using the device. So starting with clean, dry skin, I'm working section by section on the skin. I've turned the device on to a level three and I've applied a little bit of the silver conductive gel to one side of my face. And I'm going in with a lift and hold motion. Now I'm going in on my forehead and I'm doing some circular motions again with that conductive gel. Um, once I'm done with the circular motions, I'm going in with another sort of lift and hold movement and then moving on to the other side of my face, applying the gel, going section by section so that the gel doesn't dry. Um, and then again, going in with that lift and hold movement, really following sort of the contours of the face along the jaw, along the cheekbone and close to the eye area. And then I'm going in, this is the infrared option, and I'm focusing that on the areas where I'm more conscious of the lines uh, on the sides of the mouth, by the eye where the crow's feet would be, making sure you're keeping the eyes closed, and then between the brows and along the forehead where I have some dynamic wrinkles starting there. So as you can see, you sort of do like a lift and hold type of a movement. I watched a few videos to make sure that I was doing that correctly. I wasn't really sure, um, but from what I could see, a sort of lift and hold movement is gonna really help to pull those muscles up and tighten everything up. On the forehead, I did a little bit more of this sort of an action and a little bit of this sort of an action. And then on the jawline, I really kind of hold that shape of that contour along my jaw. And that's where I think I'm seeing the most results personally. So it does have another attachment here. So this is the red light therapy attachment. So to change the heads, you just press this little button right here and that pulls right off. I put it right back in the little box and then you pop this one on and you've got your red light. So this one you kind of can hold or you can move it around the face as you feel you need to do. Um, I focus that particularly on the areas where I have more of the lines that I'm concerned about. You know, between the brows, crow's feet area, um, sides of the mouth. I'm very self-conscious about the lines by my mouth. I did read on their website that the red light therapy can also help with pigmentation, broken capillaries. And I've definitely noticed in like sort of a byproduct of treating sort of this area where I'm conscious of those lines, I'm also noticing a reduction of the broken capillaries on the sides of my nose. I do get like quite a bit of redness there and I have some broken capillaries. I really feel like that has been reduced a lot. And the reason I noticed that is because when I'm doing my makeup, I always add a little bit of concealer sort of here and here to kind of cover that area. And I've noticed over the last week or so that I haven't been putting concealer there. So kind of subconsciously, I've noticed that that redness has been reduced quite a bit. So I do really love that. Um, so particularly if you had like a lot of redness and broken capillaries on the cheeks, as a lot of people do, this might be a really nice option. Um, the runtime on this is 10 minutes. So they recommend a 10 minute treatment. So I like to do the microcurrent with the gel. Um, and then after that, I take the head off, I put the red light therapy on, and then I go in and do the red light therapy. You can do that right over top of the conductive gels. Um, and then when I'm done that part of the treatment, I just wash off what's left of the gel and I go in with my normal skincare. You don't have to worry about having to change up your skincare with using this. It's kind of compatible with whatever your normal regimen is. Um, so I thought that was really great as well. It's always nice when you can add a device like this without having to change up your entire regimen. Uh, so in terms of price, they seem to have sales going a lot of the time. So when I looked at the website just before I filmed this, the regular price on this device with the two attachments is $449, but they've got it on sale for $224.50. So it seems like every time I've gone on their website, they've had a sale going on. So I would say definitely wait for a sale if they're not already having one, if you do decide to purchase something like this. Um, they also have a five-year warranty and a 90-day money-back guarantee. So, I mean, if you buy it, try it, don't love it, you can send it back and get your money back. So that's really great. As I said, I'll definitely keep you guys updated in future speed reviews videos. 
to let you guys know what kind of results I'm seeing over that sort of longer stretch of time. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Have you been seeing um, devices like this? I've been seeing them particularly on like TikTok. So I'd love to know if you guys have been seeing products like this. Have you tried anything like this? What kind of results you saw? I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.